Hi, this is Neil Vimal Kumar. I work with Life Focus Society as Ministry Director and Speaker. I welcome you to the Stay Strong series. Years ago, speaking at an open lecture at an IT company, I made the statement, love is seeking the highest best of the other person. It's not about yourself. A lady employee came to me after the meeting and she inquired, is that love practical? I tried to give her an example. I said, imagine a mother who sacrifices her well-being just because her ailing child is taken care of. She wasn't persuaded because she came back and argued. Perhaps the mother is doing it because she or he is her own child. You know, she was arguing that perhaps the reason for selflessness is actually selfishness. But in life, wouldn't we appreciate and value people who show true acts of selflessness and sacrifice? Recently, a book came out, Why We Die, written by Nobel laureate Venkatraman Ramakrishnan. Interesting, he looks at death to the lens of a structural biologist. That's a very informative read. However, one reviewer said he needs to read beyond a subject, otherwise the plot is very grim. Yes, there is a time to be born, a time to die, as Solomon penned years ago. Recently, I was reading about this gentleman, Nehemiah Gore. In the early part of the 19th century, initially refuting Christianity, and then he becomes a Christian, and then he gives an apologetic for the Christian faith. One of the topics he struggled and grappled with hard is the eternal punishment that every sinner has to face. A few months ago, I was speaking to a group of students in Assam on the topic Aikigai, the Japanese concept on the purpose of life. During the Q&A, one student asked me, what is your purpose in life? I mentioned to him, I'm a follower of Jesus Christ and Jesus taught that you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind and all your strength and love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus went on to illustrate who the neighbor was. He gave a story where he talks about three different characters showing different takes on life. The first was the robber who held on to a philosophy. What I have is mine. What you have is also mine, happily robbing off that man who was passing by. The priest and the Levite had a philosophy. What you have is yours. What we have is ours, minding their own business. The hero of the story, the good Samaritan, he held on to a view. What you have is yours. What I have can also be yours as he reached out and helped the dying man. You know, the sacrifice of Jesus is such a close parallel. Jesus died that we might live. Solomon said there's a time for every activity under the sun. And in Galatians, Paul writes, In the fullness of time, God sent his son into this world to die for us sinners so that we might live. Thomas Torrance, referring to these beautiful verses in Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 12. He, that is Jesus, entered the holy of holies, once for all, not by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, having obtained eternal redemption. Verse 15. Therefore he, that is Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called might receive the promise of the eternal inheritance, because a death has taken place for redemption from the transgressions committed under the first covenant. It's powerful. Jesus' death on the cross not only secures us a judicial or a legal component that sinners, guilty sinners can be forgiven. It's more than that. Jesus in his incarnation identified with the sinful humanity. There's something that happens to the ontology of Christ as Thomas Torrance would say that he shared with the fallen humanity. So today I'm not only enjoying the legal benefits of that sacrifice but also an ontological experience where I identify with the life that Christ gives me. That's why Thomas Torrance actually says that his 
testimony his personal testimony begins with the death of Jesus Christ on the cross 2000 years ago you know solomon after talking about every season under the sun he goes on to say god has made everything beautiful in its time may god help you and i in this journey of faith as we learn to follow the master who showed us the way of sacrifice god bless you and make you a blessing